DJ Thorough, you're watching this is 50.com. I have a special, lovely, sexy guest in the building. Introduce yourself. I am Ginger Banks. It's great to be here. Uh, thank you for coming through, blessing us with your presence. <laughs> Where are you from? I am from Scottsdale, Arizona. Scottsdale, Arizona. It's very hot out there. It is. It already hot. feels like summer. Yeah, I, I used to be out there, Scottsdale, Tempe, Tucson. Yep. All those areas out there. That's my stopping ground. That's your stopping ground? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So how does a girl... <laughs> what are you crazy? <laughs> how does a girl from Arizona end up doing... Porn. Porn. I started off messing around on websites just okay. like kind of get naked for free. And I knew from watching porn when those little pop-ups would come up in the corner, like, I think I could do that job. So I tried it out. Right. Eight years later, here I am, still doing it. Still doing it. I love it. You love it? Yeah. What do you love about it? You love the money or you love the attention? I love attention. Oh, you love attention? Yeah, I do. Yeah. All right, so you got to strip down. That's why it makes the job so easy, okay. is I love attention. Like, you love attention, right. Admitting that is important, though, or else you don't even know why you're trying to get attention. Right. It's like, why am I acting crazy? Right. Now, I, now I know why. Now you know why. Crazy. Um, obviously, everyone comes from somebody. What do your parents think of this, this occupation? I mean, obviously, they wish I was doing something else. Okay. I was going to school for engineering before I did this, so, you know, they were telling their friends, my right. daughter's in school for engineering. I'm sure when they get asked now, what is your daughter doing? Right. I'm sure it's not good fun for them, so, you know, I, that's what I want to change, though. I want people to realize that it's not that big of a deal that it's I not that big. We're already, so many people are already out there fucking for free. For free? Like, why does recording it or making an exchange of money any, any crazier. All right, so basically you're saying, why fuck for free when I can get paid for it? I mean, that's how I feel half the time I'm having sex. <laughs> now you know there's a word for that, right? Yeah, sex work. <laughs> <laughs> Two words for it. What, prostitution? Prostitution. Well, I mean, how, what is the difference between me going to set, meeting someone I've never met before, fucking for the first time on camera right. i leave and i never talk to them again a lot of full service sex workers know their clients way more than you know, that you, you know you know the real world we call it bad sex if you fuck somebody <laughs> if you fuck somebody you never talk to them again that's, that, that's some whack-ass sex that's true <laughs> you, know? you don't do it twice you don't, yeah you, you know, must I, not have had fun the first time exactly so how does that work um on set because um um ron jerry he's yeah. um you you, you, you in particular, instrumental in getting him to move from certain platforms or a show for sexual harassment. Now, break this down for me. How are you? How do you? How can you have sexual harassment in the porn industry? How does that work? Because it's consent is really important in our industry. Okay. And if you take the consent away, then it's not okay. If you, if I say you can slap me in the face then that's okay. If okay. you slap me in the face without me saying that first, it's wrong. Okay. And so once you understand consent, it makes sense, you know? If we're on camera, we're fucking, and they call cut, you don't have the right to keep fucking me, you know? You don't have, Ron Jeremy doesn't have the right to touch me at that point. And it's, I do respect myself enough to be able to say that. And I think society teaches us, you know, you're, you're fucking a little bit, you should be fucking everyone, you know? Right. Why are you fucking me? You should just fuck my friends. Like, guys have that attitude sometimes, and right. I think it's just more of a sexual woman thing that we need to fix. It's, right. it's not just porn stars. So, I mean, okay. you know, so consent, consent is important, right. and it's it's not black and white. People want to think it's so simple. Like, right. I mean, it is. Just ask me first. <laughs> right, so basically, there's been instances where you're fucking and then they see a cut and he's still fucking you? Well, I guess I've heard on set that that's been a problem with certain performers is they feel entitled to keep fucking their co-stars, even when they've called cut, which isn't right. the case. Some of these people are in relationships. They just go to set to make a movie. Right. But I also think it's important to kind of like build the chemistry up between you and your co-stars. Like, right. I've never met you before and I'm going to be fucking you on camera. There's going to be no chemistry. So if you talk to your co-star first and you're like do you mind if we you know mess around before the cameras are on then that's cool but if you just assume your co-star wants to fuck you before the cameras start that right. might be crossing a boundary all right crossing boundaries speak about that how does one maintain a relationship outside of the porn industry is that possible i don't think it's possible me well, personally 
I just left my ex of nine years to get into porn because he couldn't handle it. And I knew that. Uh, duh. I knew that. I, I, I know it's going to take a very special person who right. doesn't care about what other people think. Because, you know, that's what it's going to be. It's going to be your your bros telling you, right. what the fuck? You're letting your girl go. That's right. You and can't it, run it. And it's going to take a very special guy who does not give a fuck. He's like, you know, I'm confident in my um, woman. I understand poly relationships and how that works. Like, I'm never going to be monogamous ever again. Where's this guy at? <laughs> uh, he's I need, I need to talk to him because yeah. I can't do it. It's pretty easy for me, you know. It's just like, well, I don't date any of those people who can't handle it, and it's it's easier for now, me. Can now, can you handle your man fucking another chick? Yeah. Yeah, he lying. Well, no, I can't. <laughs> okay, I'm not never gonna get jealous. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm not jealous, but right. I also would never want my boyfriend or girlfriend or whoever I date to have the opportunity to fuck someone and say no just because of me. Right. I want them to have that opportunity. I'm not gonna say no to them because of that. Right. And, it's gonna, you know, jealousy is really hard to unlearn, Ooh. you know, it's so hard, but I'm never gonna be with just one person. I get bored. You get bored? And okay. I'm sure they do too. I think a lot of people are lying to themselves and telling them that they want to be monogamous when they're not. They, right. But they would never want to see their partner with someone else, all of that shit, you know. Right. So if you get past that, then, you know, more right. sex, more fun, more, more happiness. Fun. So you're into couple swinging, uh, yeah. threesome, gangbangs, what, what's your thing? I've never done a gangbang yet. I've never done a threesome with two dicks yet, okay. but I'm looking forward to it. So. You're looking forward to gangbang or threesome. <laughs> wow. I've had a lot of threesomes with other girls and my ex, right. but never with another guy, not yet. Oh, so your ex is a hypocrite. So he can fuck another <laughs> girl, but he can't watch you go get fucked by somebody else. Yeah, that was a problem. Oh, he's a really hypocrite. For a little while, but I mean, if he's straight, then it's kind of different because I'm bisexual and I do enjoy the presence of another woman in the right. bedroom. So it's not like adding a guy to that would have no. added something to him. You know, no, that would have been okay. just for me. And right. he said, you know, maybe eventually we can do that off camera. But right. I wanted to do porn, and if I didn't do porn, I would have resented him for it because he right. was the only reason I wasn't going to do it. He wasn't, okay. Now let's, let's, let's talk on a serious note. There's a lot of um, issues in the porn industry where um, um, girls or men, whatever, they commit suicide and do crazy. Oh, Depre recently? They're depressed and why, yeah. why is someone that's busting nuts all day depressed? Uh, if you ever go online and you read like the comments section, right. let's say for example the Ron Jeremy mm -hmm. sexual assault, a lot of the people are like, well, they're fucking porn stars. You should be able to do whatever you want to them. They're on set fucking. Why shouldn't I be able to grab them? Or right. they're pieces of shit. Just lots of comments that make you feel bad about yourself. And we're not immune to that. We can't just brush it off. I wish I could say I could, but we feel that. I see it all the time when people are like, well, at least you're not a prostitute or something. I'm like, well, there's nothing wrong with that either. And if you're the one who's saying, well, at least I'm not a prostitute, inside you've got to be holding on to some of that shame that you're putting on other sex workers. Right. All right. Oh, do you do you have any kids? No. You don't have any kids. So how are you going to balance that? Do you plan on having kids? I do. Okay. I think that's something I guess our country needs to address. Is <laughs> parents can't the talk to their fucking to... kids about sex, and it's not like right. you know, it's not like anything weird. It shouldn't be that crazy of a conversation right. to the point where we don't talk to them about it at all, and then they go to porn, and that's where they get their education, education from, from, and they don't realize that's a fantasy and. Maybe not all women like to be choked and stuff like that. Right. But back to consent. <laughs> right. All right. Well, sexual preference. What's your What's your favorite position? I don't know, man. <laughs> I like so much about sex. I cannot. I don't have a favorite position. I'm just gonna straight up say I don't. Maybe doggy style. Doggy my ass. Style. My ass looks really good when it bounces yeah. off someone when I'm getting fucked behind it. Does it? Does it? You know I'm from Missouri, right? <laughs> no, what does that That's mean? the show me state. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> I gotta do the work half the time. Hey, you get a workout on this show too. <laughs> hey, all your this is In case years. you didn't know what doggy style was. Yeah. <laughs> right. Now, well let me ask you this, what's off limits when it comes to sex? Uh, well, I just recently learned how dangerous choking can be if you're not with, like, the right person. Like, okay. someone could literally accidentally kill you, and before I learned that, I was like, choke me, do whatever you want, and now I'm like, maybe I should do that up to my, like, partners that I trust. Right. So, I mean, I don't really have that many no's, to be honest with you. I'm like, no shit, piss, animals, children. <laughs> but if my partner is getting off on it, I'm getting off on it. Like, I never thought I would enjoy fucking someone in the ass until I did it, and I saw how You're much talking they about were enjoying it. Right? <laughs> hey, hey, you Whoa. guys have a prostate! You Whoa. guys, okay, all of men need to get, no, they need to get over that homophobia.
homophobia because y'all have a fucking prostate in your butthole. I don't even have it. Yo, that's one of my other stigmas. What am I gonna do with it? That's one of my other stigmas I need to get. I'm gonna be like, yo, don't knock it till you try it. How did you go from the web, the webcam girl, to a full porn? You wasn't satisfied with it. Wasn't enough tension. No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when I, okay. When I suck a dick, I feel like this is what I'm meant to do. Like the what? guy's face. I'm like, oh my god. You're Give this girl a contract right you've now. You've never, you've never had anyone suck your dick before, have you? So I just, you know, I feel like in my element, like that's what I'm meant to do, and so. That's my art form. That's my performance art that I want to share with the world. My love of so you're, sex. So you're I love eating buttholes, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I can deep throat. Yeah. That's one of the benefits from being bulimic back in the day. Wow. <laughs> Every, I'm like, yo, I can shut anything down right now. Yeah. But yeah, okay. I, I just, I realized I could work with some of the best of the best in the industry, mm -hmm. and I knew I would resent my ex for holding me back. He was the only reason I wasn't doing porn. So. I made the decision to live him, leave him and do porn. My, my pastor's gonna be mad at me when he sees this. <laughs> <laughs> I've interviewed a couple of porn stars and they have like merchandise, like they have the uh, imprints of their pussy, their titties. How can somebody buy a ginger or a pussy if they wanted to? I don't know, tweet Fleshlight and tell them you want mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I don't have one yet. You don't have one yet, see that? They have like very few uh, cam models that they make okay. Fleshlights for, but I'm about to do porn, so we'll see. So you haven't, so you haven't exactly done porn yet? I did my one, I've done one film. And I did three scenes, a girl girl scene, a boy girl scene, and a boy girl scene. And what was that like, were you nervous your first time? I was nervous before, but okay. I went on Twitter and I was like saying I'm so nervous and everyone's like, you're gonna do great, Ginger, shut up, like you're fine. So I just calmed myself down and it was great. I felt in my element, like right. after I was done, I was like, I'm really glad I made this decision, right. it was good. Now how does how does a girl get work? If, if anybody out there wanna be a porn star, how, how do they do that? You can either find an agency and okay. sign through them and they reach out to companies for you or like I did, I built my career as a webcam model and they just started reaching out to me. So reaching out to you. I bet I interact with people on social media, it's so powerful. Right. Just tweet browsers, say you're watching their porno and then they'll be right. like, you wanna be in one? Right, okay. <laughs> I wanna ask you too, does this affect the sales of, I guess, I don't know if people still buying DVD pornos because we have YouTube, Pornhub. Oh yeah, totally. At least so they say, I don't watch this stuff. At least that's what they say. But anyway, how does that affect like you filming and no one no one will pay for it if oh, yeah. they watch it for free? How do you make the money? In the industry's totally changed okay. because of tube sites. And luckily in the past year or so, Pornhub has introduced like their model payment program. It's kind of just like YouTube, mm -hmm. but on Pornhub, so you get paid per view. So now I've been, I've been okay. making videos for Pornhub and I get a check from them every Monday. Every Monday? Yeah, so you think you're watching my porn for free, but you're not. But you're not. Ooh, she's a businesswoman too. She ain't sucking and fucking for free. She told y'all that. Well, I mean, yeah, it's, stu <laughs> it's stupid as fuck to ignore those sites. And it sucks because they do make money off our stolen content. And it feels like some dude's like, hey, you want some of the money that I'm making off of your stolen shit? Right. And you're like... Well, I guess I get none if I say no, you know? Right. So I work with them right. and I just try and figure out ways to get people to buy my stuff. Right. If I if I make good enough stuff, people are gonna buy it. Right, do you ever go back and look at your work and critique it? Like, oh, I could've did this better or- Oh my gosh, yeah. I could've grabbed that better. I could've <laughs> angled myself yeah. better, yeah, but I've been working with people recently. Like collaboration is amazing okay. because you can get so much more when you work with other people. They know camera angles you never would have thought of and stuff like that. Right. So my work's just getting better and better. It's so cool. Okay. So if anybody want to get in contact with you and check out your work, how can they do that? You can buy my clips on gingerbanks.com. So buy. I like her. Or you can follow <laughs> me on Twitter at gingerbanks1, the number one, and I post free shit on there all the time. Okay. So you can masturbate to my pre previews if you try hard enough. Woo. Number one sexual fantasy. I want to have a gangbang really bad. I mean, like I said, I've only been with one dick at a time, so. She's a bad girl right here. <laughs> She's a bad girl. She wants to have a gang thing so bad. That's crazy. I, I'm gonna do a fuck a fan contest sometime too. Oh, yeah? Because I wanna, I wanna like highlight the you kind of hypocrisy when it comes to like, I'm gonna fuck one fan on camera and one fan off camera and be like, what's the difference? Like, yo, tell me, because okay. y'all are trying to tell me what I can do with my body and what these people can do with their bodies. Right. If they want to fuck for money, let them. Yo, and stop taking away their resources to do it safely. Like, quit shutting down Backpage. Oh yeah, let's talk about Backpage. With the, with the, how uh, has that affected everything? Um, shutting down Backpage yeah. is gonna like cause sex workers to die. 
because Explain. we use that to go through clients and make sure they're not dangerous. Right. And when you take that away from us, people go on the streets and they begin taking clients they never would have because they don't have the opportunity to screen them. Screen them, right. And now that President Trump just signed into effect the SESTA and FOSTA bills that are going to make it illegal to help facilitate prostitution, it's going to make it even more dangerous and difficult for us to help sex workers. Like, passing out condoms might be considered illegal mm. to street sex workers, and that's not cool. Like, just, it's not going to go away. So it needs to be decriminalized and... It. We can do it. All right. Anything you want to cover before we get out of here? Um, I will be in Las Vegas for the Sex Workers March. It is in downtown Las Vegas at 10 a.m. on June 2nd. We will be marching to City Hall to protest all of the crazy laws that are going into effect to work against sex workers. All right. There it is. Once again, let them know your name. I am Ginger Banks. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for coming through. Hey, that's what it is. DJ Thorough, Ginger Banks. This is 50.com. We out.